Welcome to Waldorf Sound Design Series. This is a format where we feature sound designer musicians which are using our instruments to uh, make new sounds, uh, which had made um, factory sounds for our instruments and also extra sound sets. Today we have Kurt Ader from Capro. Hello. Hello. Hi, Kurt is a, a renowned sound designer um, doing sound sets not only for Waldorf music, also for big brands like Cork. And um, but let's start with a question: um, Are you doing music yourself still? Yes, of course. Um, I play in a band uh, with the name Saw Schmöling Other Waters. Johannes Schmöling was a member of Tenter and Dream oh, yeah. a long time ago, and we are starting uh, two years ago and making a new album like the original Tenter and Dream. Okay, Saw from Sawtooth or no? For the names is the Schmöling is ah, the S okay. and. A for Ada yeah, and uh, Waters, W. Okay, great. So how does somebody become a sound designer? What's your story? Um, I start with 1977 with a Minimoke, mm -hmm. um, my first monophonic synth. Uh, and um, it's great to have uh, all the features to make new stuff, but at this time you cannot store some sounds. Uh, it's a lot of experimental uh, sound design. Yeah, And after this I uh, started with polyphonic synthesizers like the Jupiter 8. Mm -hmm. Good. What was your first Waldorf synthesizer you used? It's a microwave one. Yeah, fantastic. I make five or six sounds for factory content. Great. Um, so this was uh, over 30 years ago. Yeah. So um, we have now the new Wild of M where you have also factory sounds and also a sound yeah. set available. Highly recommended to check this out. Today we will um, nonetheless um, work with the Iridium. Mm -hmm. um, we will present um, five or six sounds you yeah, uh, designed six sounds. Um, for the Iridium and which will be also um, available as a sound set. There are factory sounds already in the Iridium as well in the Quantum right. um, from you. And, but we will put a link um, into this video below where, we can, um, where you can find all these sounds. But what is your process? If you design a sound, are you inspired by the environment, by natural sound or just by your imagination? How, how you create a sound? Uh, it's totally different. Uh, the first is the machine inspires me a lot. Okay. You know the features. Uh, I love the granular uh, function. It's it's amazing, and also sampling is is uh, main part from me. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I I love the machine. Yeah. So if you if you approach a new instrument, be it a Waldorf instrument yeah. or, or from some other brand, which is totally unknown to you. What are you, the first things you do with the new instruments in order to learn that instrument? Yeah, at first I make an init sound and look what is going on, uh, how many oscillators, uh, so wave tables. So big questions, your init sound, yeah. what waveform does it have? A sawtooth or a sine wave or something else? A sawtooth. A sawtooth. Yeah. Why yeah. a sawtooth? Mm. I don't know why. Yeah, the filter? Maybe? Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah to yeah, see yeah, how yeah, the right, sawtooth... Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm doing the same. I, I dial in a sawtooth and then I can see in the filter how it behaves, how the filter right, right. um, sounds like. And if you do a whole sound set, let's say from like 20 or 50 sounds, mm -hmm. are you planning what kind of uh, um, categories you want to do or just you start to produce sounds and then stop when you have enough? Yes, yeah, sometimes the, the company told me uh, we need some live uh, sounds or experimental stuff uh, you can make what you want okay um let's start maybe with the sound you used in the in the introduction the more voice it's a sound comprised out of three different uh, um, oscillators the first one is the resonator maybe you play again a few yeah. notes Very 
very interesting mod wheel modulation. Right. And also aftertouch. Yes. And so let's have a look into the oscillator. The first oscillator I'm isolating it, it's a resonator with a sample. Maybe you play Only a few one sounds. sample yes. for the complete keypad. Yes. But it's also absolutely great when you transpose only just one sample for the complete yeah. keypad. It's, it's sounding great, yeah. Yes, we, cho we have chosen a very good um, algorithm to do this large absolutely. transpositions because we, we are not having here 80 gigabyte of samples, yeah. but we, we want to give the creativity to the user to use one sample or right. maybe 10 samples you can right. do. Uh, multi-sampling. The second oscillator uh, is another resonator without a sample. Mm -hmm. um, I think it supports the yeah. first one. Yeah. Makes a little bit more warmness. Yeah, so in maybe the let's now. combine these two together. Okay. Um, the third one is a particle. Right. Gives you a sample. And this has a lot of attack on yes. it for the morphing yeah. feature. Yeah, very nice. So I'm getting back everything, now the resonator and this. Mm -hmm. So very nice sound, a good example how different synthesis technologies right. morphing together, blend each other, you have a very rich sound. Um, so let's see what's let's next. See. It's um, a wave stepper. A wave stepper, right. Uh, I show it with uh, only one key. Yes. Oh. Oh. A lot of stuff happening, lots of modulation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Waldorf is uh, very well known for wavetables, so I'm hearing right. wavetables. We have eight steps in, in this sound, yeah, and uh, with uh, travel mode is ping pong, yeah. It yes. uh, goes from left to right and right to left. So let's maybe isolate this first oscillator again. So mm -hmm. you already mentioned we have a mode where, which is called step mode, which right. is not um, interpolating between each mm -hmm. wave, but stepping. Right. That gives you this kind of distinct um, stepping modulation um, effect by purpose. And as you, you mentioned, it goes first and back. Uh, maybe just play this first. Yeah. And also with the aftertouch. Yeah. So where does the aftertouch go? We are looking into the mod modulation in the mod. matrix. Yeah. Um, you so see, sometimes a lot are going yes. on, but um, here is wheel uh, aftertouch. Here so we, we have, have here the aftertouch right. goes to the digital former, which right. is a digital processor. We can look on the uh, level and the level of the third oscillator mm -hmm. and a little bit of LFO speeds. So let's have a look into the digital former. So we have here two dual filters and an extra here. So we ha you have an extra nay filter running here into right. it. So maybe let's check out what's happening in the second oscillator if i remember correctly it's another mm -hmm. wave table right. let's listen to this yes again supportive to the first oscillator again in the step mode same wave table and the last one this was a resonator too yes um, also for warmness and uh, yeah. yeah maybe you can play Sign this patch. Yeah, and this gives you Side this extra packages. dropping effect, right. like a ball dropping on the table of the of right. the. So let's get everything together. Mm -hmm. 
So let's uh, let's check the effect section. So you have a delay inside. I'm listening to. I'm hearing the delay. Obviously, reverb a little right. bit of chorus. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And of but not course, so much. Also no, it's just see. subtle, I yeah, guess. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And um, EQ. Also. So yeah. we have an effect chain in the Iridium here of five effects, and which adds up um, additional modulations. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. What's next here on our list? This is, oh, that's a famous sound. So let's yeah, give it a is. listen. You can play polyphonic yeah. for pads. It's like Blade Runner. Yeah. Lot of after lot after touch on the filter. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. So if you're doing such a Blade Runner classic sound, how, how, how you approach that sound when dialing in? You have it in your ear and you react to the instrument, how it, how it behaves? Yeah. Um, at this point, I have other synth and, um, and uh, playing with it and say, oh, this great uh, sound reminds me of Blade Runner. Yeah. And I prepare it to with the Iridium, but it makes much more fun to make it with, with this machine and yeah. it's, it's much better than the original what I use before. Yes. So we have, obviously, we have here virtual analog, so we have yeah. a sawtooth. There is um, a super saw of eight kernels mm -hmm. dialed in with lots of detune. Yeah. And uh, with the stereo imaging going on here. 90 degrees. Yeah. Um, so we get um, this uh, wide field, um, same for the second oscillate and the third. So you're yeah. dialing in as much of sawtooth right. as possible. Yeah. Um, they are placed in the um, stereo image and all yeah. the, um, that's a dual filter in the Iridium and each of the filter is stereo, everything is stereo in yeah. the Iridium. So from the stereo oscillators, the whole stereo image is, is um, preserved. Yeah. So what's, what's happening in the, in the effect section? You have a chorus. Yeah, delay. and a delay and a lot of reverb. Yeah. But also, I need to use at the end uh, the EQ for the bass uh, cutting down a little bit, but it's too aggressive uh, uh, when you play in, in the first notes, you know? Yes. Yeah. I think this is also... Um uh, I'm not sure what's what's your uh, um, experience, but I found that professional sound designers very often um, using a little bit of acuing and maybe a little bit uh, of compression to mm. do the final mm. touches. Right, right. Yeah, and not yeah. just using the the oscillator and filter as yeah. they are. Yeah. And so this makes this difference between a good sound and a very Absolutely. good sound. Absolutely. Yeah. And also it's it's very important that uh, when you buy a sound set, uh, that it's not, you have different volumes. You know, right, right, on right. the stage it's very important that you have the same level, yeah. mostly the same level. Or you have some frequency right. bands yeah. which are too high, which yeah. you have to turn down right. a bit, so you are... You are um, these sounds you're doing, it's, they're almost ready for production yeah, yeah. in order that, that they have all this preparation work yeah, yeah. Um, going on. So let's move on. What's the next? It's the Phrases Choir. Yeah, it's just one sample also for the complete uh, keypad. like a pet and a choir together. Yeah. And 
Yeah, the fielder shot yeah. down the fielder. Yeah, so the first oscillator is a particle oscillator. So you um, see here the sample. So this is right. a um, waveform. Um, you you Just it. one sample. Yeah. Just one sample. And when we started the design of a quantum and iridium, uh, we we thought I'd do a little bit of sampling, and then more and more users ask for more and more. So we have now multi sampling. If you want to, we have yep. some kind of of looping. We have moving forth and back. And I think the second oscillator has the same yeah. sample, right? No, it's, it's, it's a different, a different one. Oh, okay. It's a different wire sample. The, o the, the first one has the, the phrase, yeah, yeah, with uh, the vocals, and um, but the other one is just the choir. Okay, yeah. so then yeah. let's and try then the first one. Yeah. Ah. And now we do the second one. Right. Right. Just the choir. So I'm getting both together. So with these three oscillators, you could have another sampler if you want to, an yeah, oscillator three, but, uh, but doesn't need it just, here. Just uh, only has two oscillators. Yes. Yeah. It's um, fat enough. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's very nice. <coughs> and um, let's see something going on in the modulation matrix. Yeah. So w with a little bit of wheel it's and aftertouch. It's a filter cutoff. Yeah. Uh, it's going uh, down. Making darker when you yeah. put it on, different way, yeah. And also with the aftertouch, you see, dry and wet a signal from the FX one and two, just Which a little are bit. delay and reverb. And reverb, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah th intensity. That's, yeah, that's very nice. I always wonder if it comes to modulation wheels. Yeah. The classic thing is to open a filter. Yeah. But sometimes. sometimes you start normally with your modulation wheel at zero and then you play a sound is very dark and you do not right. know why why it's that way then they yeah. try to to work with the modulation yeah. oh you have to open it a little bit yeah. here you're doing it the other way i see this sometimes so mm -hmm. what's the idea here to do it in the other direction uh, the idea is at the beginning you need uh, to know that there is a choir and the filter is open and uh, when you put it on the modulation, then it's more like a pad, you know, yeah. then darker mode, yeah. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. 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 Very nice. So, um, now it's for something totally different. Yeah. So maybe just this is a uh, uh, FM typical FM super bus sound yeah. with uh, six operators, yeah. Yeah? and uh, like the original uh, DX7 has it, and um, yeah, for example, it sounds. <laughs> Slap us. Yes. Yeah. So the iridium and the quantum has also the capability of uh, doing FM or what we call kernel mode. Right. So each oscillator has five um, um, synthesis modes. Mm -hmm. um, we have just have four buttons. So for the first one, you have to press um, the top one together yeah. and you come here into the kernel mode. Right. So if we're looking in here, um, this just gives some kind of macro overview yep. over the FM synthesis. So it's a complete synthes FM synthesizer in one oscillator with all the envelopes and all right. the operators. We ca can have a look in here. Yep. So here that would be the algorithm. So we have here all six kernels working together in that mode. 
And for each of the kernel, we can look on the waveform classically. That would be a sine wave. We could mm -hmm. also use wavetables. Right. Um, here we have um, we have the envelope going on for each of the kernels. We have um, also here the op opportunity to uh, make a key scaling and such things. Um, it cannot do only. Um, that's obviously in um, 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 uh, frequency modulation. We could also do some other types like ring modulation or amplitude modulation, but this is a very classic sound, so it gives you a totally different yeah. timbre. And there's, I, I guess there's not much going on in the field, a little bit of... of right, right, off. right, right. <laughs> Now let's have a look in the modulation matrix. Mm -hmm. There is also on the wheel the FX control. It's um, distortion on it. Ah, okay. A so there's a drive here on the first FX slot. Very nice. Yeah. I get and also this after touch here. Yeah. What would be the uh, aftertouch doing a little bit of the volume? Right. I guess this adding of a little bit of extra distortion is also this little extra tweak which uh, distinguish a normal sound from a very good sound yeah, because yeah, yeah. it gives you this extra color. Color. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, by the way, you can load SysX data, FM yeah. SysX data yeah. into the oscillator. It's not 100% compatible, but let's say uh, 90%, and then right. you can use this as a starting point to dial something in. So, last but not least, we have some famous sound here. It's a volley, yeah. It's also a FM, typical FM sound yeah. with a... There are some tweaks here. Very nice modulation, yeah. yeah. Also only two oscillators. Yeah. Uh, with the FM yeah. in, in the first oscillator. So, okay, so lady, let's, look, yeah. I think the FM, I'm switching off the second yeah. one. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. doing the main sound, right. right? Yeah. So I'm switching that off. Uh, let's do the second one. Ah. It's an attack and overtone. Yeah. To give you a little extra. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a mallet wave table, yeah. which is a uh, real mallet. Mallet student, yeah. 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 And, and you, w with Combine the wheel, it. You, you, you modulate here the position in the wave right. table, yeah, of the wave table two position to get this extra overtones yes. from yes. the transient of the, of the um, um, mallet. So let's get yeah. both together and this makes this beautiful sound. So let's look in the effects section. Again, a little bit of chorus, chorus uh, EQing. Ah, that's interesting. A lot of EQ. You're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're, you're uh, um, yeah. exciting some of the frequencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this gives you the final touch, the final timbre. Right, right. Yeah. And just. Reverb, a uh, little bit of reverb, and also very uh, little delay, like for more for the stereo image. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you all, uh, very much for your time for all these sounds. Um, Thank you. These sounds will be available as a sound set in our store soon. Uh, there will be a link for the sound set to our shop in the commentary of this uh, um, video. 
also there will be two sounds for direct download as um, um, teaser sounds for everybody for free. Example, yeah. Yeah. Right. So please uh, have a look and um, download your sounds. The sound will be uh, um, usable in obviously in the world of Iridium, but also in the quantum. Right. And um, yeah, so thank you. And um, we have now some time more um, to play and listen to some sounds from your okay. sound sense. Okay. <laughs> 